Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. It says the square root of the quantity one plus the square root of the quantity one plus x is equal to the cube root of x. And it wants us to solve for x. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. Let's do some u substitution. I wanna set u equal to the cube root of x. And then let's copy it down again and let's cube both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, we'll have u cubed, but on the right-hand side, this cube root and this cube will cancel each other out. So now we have u is equal to the cube root of x or u cubed is equal to x. And now we're ready to substitute into this. We changed the x into a u cubed and the cube root of x got changed into a u. And now we can solve for u. For the next step, let's square both sides of the equation. On the left-hand side, this giant square root and this outer square will cancel each other out. And then we can subtract one from both sides. On the left-hand side, the positive one and negative one will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, we have u squared minus one. Now I wanna get rid of this square root to put both sides in a parentheses and square both sides. On the left-hand side, this square root and this square will cancel each other out. And on the right-hand side, after you multiply that out, you get u to the fourth minus two u squared plus one. Now we have a one on both sides of the equation, so let's subtract one from both sides. We'll be left with u cubed equals u to the fourth minus two u squared. Let's set everything equal to zero. Let's subtract u cubed from both sides. On the left-hand side, these are gonna cancel each other out, leaving us with zero. And on the right-hand side, we have u to the fourth minus u cubed minus two u squared. We can factor out of each of these terms a u squared. So let's factor that out. u squared times u squared will give us u to the fourth. And then we're gonna subtract u squared times u, which will give us u cubed. And then we're gonna subtract u squared times two, which will give us two u squared. So we just factored out the u squared. And then we can factor one more time. We can factor this by doing u and u. And then we need two numbers that add to negative one and multiply to negative two. Well, that's gonna be negative two and positive one. So if we were to multiply this out, it would bring us back to this right here. And once again, to do this, we needed two numbers that added to negative one and multiplied to negative two. And this is what we need to solve for u. We can get rid of all this work and let's bring this up here. Anytime you have something times something times something equal to zero, it'll be true if one of those somethings is equal to zero. So we can set each of these equal to zero. The first one will be true if u is equal to zero. And the second one will be true if u is equal to two. And the third one will be true if u is equal to negative one. Earlier, we set u equal to the cube root of x. So let's substitute cube root of x back in for these. Now this first one will be true if x is equal to zero because the cube root of zero is zero. This one will be true if x is equal to eight because the cube root of eight is equal to two. And then this one will be true if x is equal to negative one because the cube root of negative one is equal to negative one. And now we can get rid of all this work and let's test our three answers. Zero for x for this one, eight for x for this one, and negative one for x for this one. And let's see which of these values for x will work. One plus zero is equal to one, and square root of one is equal to one. And then one plus one is equal to two. So on the left-hand side, we have square root of two. And then the cube root of zero is equal to zero. This is not true, so x equals zero is not a possible answer. For this one, one plus eight is equal to nine, and square root of nine is equal to three. One plus three is equal to four, and square root of four is equal to two. And then on the right-hand side, the cube root of eight, well, that's also equal to two. So this one checks out. Let's put a box around it. X equals eight is a solution to this. And then for the last one, one minus one is equal to zero and square root of zero is zero. And then one plus zero is one and square root of one is one. And the cube root of negative one is equal to negative one. This is not a true statement, so X can't equal negative one. So the solution to this is X equals eight. How exciting. And here's a sneak preview for the next episode. Hey guys, this looks like a fun one. We're given a right triangle with an inscribed circle. And it wants to know what is the area of the red circle. We're also given that this portion of the hypotenuse is equal to four meters, and this portion is equal to 21 meters. If you wanna try it on your own, pause it right now, because I'm gonna solve it in three, two, one. How exciting.